incubator simply is to provide us with a space where the temperature, humidity, and oxygen are regulated. Okay. So this is the, the initial idea of the incubator and the function as well. Okay. So how to control these three parameters? This is the, the only question. So the upper part of the display is related to the uh, temperature control. Okay. So this one is the incubator air temperature. This one is baby temperature. Okay. Um, how to con how to how to control the temperature? There are two different ways. The first one is the manual control mode. The second one is the skin control mode. Okay. Suppose we go to the touch the display. Here you can select between manual control mode or skin. For the manual, if you select manual, simply you can adjust the incubator temperature, air temperature. Suppose you want the temperature inside the incubator to, to be 34 degrees. Okay, so we have selected 34 degrees. Okay, so and this indicator means that we are working in the manual control mode, or sometimes we call it air control mode. Okay, so if you see the color is matching, means that we are working in the in the air control mode or manual control mode. So right now we have selected 34 degrees. The actual temperature is 30.1. So now step by step it will start increasing. Okay, until the these two are matching. Okay. So this way we have selected the incubator air temperature. Okay, and the function of the incubator to maintain, to achieve and maintain this 34 degrees that we have selected. Okay, clear. Okay. So, but this one, it's, and the nurses, they know that it's a bit risky to use the air control mode because baby temperature has no any effect. Baby temperature has no any effect on the, on the temperature inside. So I mean, if baby temperature goes up or down, this will not affect the machine. Okay. That's why it's much safer to work in the skin control mode. For that, we need to connect the skin control mode to baby's abdomen, exactly to this area, and then switch to skin control mode. Here in the skin control mode, we select the incubator air temperature. I'm sorry, we select baby temperature. Okay. Suppose we want baby temperature equal to be 36, 36.5. Okay. Close. See, the indicator has been changed now. Okay. And even the color is matching here. So that means we are working in the skin mode. And right now, baby temperature <coughs> is low. Just a second. Okay. So you can see now that baby temperature is 31.4. Okay, that's why the heater is working with full capacity. Okay, because the actual baby temperature is far away from the from the cell temperature. Exactly, that's why the heater is working. You will see that if once baby temperature reached close to thirty six point five, you will see that the heater is gradually turning off, shutting down. Okay. As a safety feature, we have selected thirty six point five. If there is a variation between the actual baby temperature and the cell temperature by zero point five degree, alarm will be activated. That's it for the temperature control. So second, we go to the humidity control. Okay. For the humidity control, it has to be off initially, and we should provide humidification as per the doctor's instruction. If the doctor said that he wants the humidity inside the equator to be, for example, 50, 60, 90%, then we have to fill this humidity chamber by distilled water. Usually we have water tank here, okay? That water tank has to be filled. Once filled, water will start flowing to the heater. Okay, okay. once we fill the humidity chamber, okay, then we can activate the uh, humidification. Again, touch the display, select humidification on, yes? And adjust the humidity level you're looking for. Suppose 90%. As you can see right now, the actual humidity is 41, and our set humidity is 90%. It, step by step, again, it will start increasing until it reaches to, to 90%. It's alarming because there's no water. Okay, I will turn it off. The last parameter we have is oxygen. Okay, for the oxygen, as I have just mentioned, before we start giving oxygen, we have to do oxygen sensor calibration. How to do that? Press and pull out. Okay, press this lever and pull out. Okay. Once we pull out the sensor module, calibration will be started. So you go to the display, or the sensor calibrating. Okay. Usually it takes 20 seconds. If the calibration is passed, you will get a message that auto sensor calibrated. Okay. If failed, you will get failed calibration, uh, calibration failed, and it will identify which one is failed, right or left, because we have two sensors there. For the weighing scale, it's very simple. The the we can measure from 300 up to 7,000 grams. Okay, so the capacity, total capacity. As I have just explained, I just have one object there. Okay, to use it, 
you have to press weight. So lift away from the mattress. We press before the mattress. Okay, save memory. So you can have the graph after a few days. Or if not graph, you can have it in digit as well. This is trend for the last 24 hours. All parameters, baby temperature, air temperature, humidity, oxygen, will be recorded here for the last 24, uh, 24 hours. Uh, menu, nothing special there. Just to delete the data for the previous baby, you can adjust the LCD brightness, alarm volume, clock, that's it, nothing special.